Good morning, Miss Myers. I'm Dr. Salman. What can I do for you today? Hello, Dr. Salman. I'm not doing so well. I'm sneezing and coughing a lot. I have a sore throat and my body aches all over. Can you tell me what's going on? I am sorry to hear about that, Miss Myers. You have all the symptoms of the common cold, which is a viral infection. What are viral infections? Viral infections are infections caused by viruses. Viruses are tiny non-living organisms that take over our cells to make many copies of themselves. The reaction of our bodies to these viruses makes us feel sick. Some of the symptoms of a viral infection include coughing, sore throat, sneezing, runny nose, fever, and body aches. Examples of common viral infections include the common cold, the flu, and warts. But doctor, why don't antibiotics work against viral infections? Well, Miss Myers, unfortunately, antibiotics are not effective at all to treat your cold. Antibiotics are medications specifically designed to treat infections caused by bacteria only. Some examples of bacterial infections include bacterial pneumonia, strep throat, bacterial sinusitis, and ear infections. Specifically, antibiotics are used to destroy bacteria and prevent them from making copies of themselves. Antibiotics are not effective against viral infections. But doctor, why don't antibiotics work against viral infections? That is an excellent question, Ms. Myers. Viruses are non-living, much smaller organisms, and more numerous than bacteria. Viruses make copies of themselves much differently from bacteria in that they hijack the machinery of our cells, eventually causing their destruction. When the cells blow up, they release all the copies of the viruses that were made. Antibiotics specifically target bacterial cells and cause them to be destroyed. The bacterial cells make copies of themselves by dividing inside the human body on their own, without using the human cell's machinery. Bacteria are living organisms. Viruses are not. Therefore, antibiotics cannot attack viruses and are ineffective as a result. What happens if someone with a viral infection takes antibiotics? If someone with a viral infection were to take antibiotics unnecessarily, he or she is at risk of destroying protective bacteria in the body, which can lead to antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance is a phenomenon in which some bacteria evolve or mutate to become stronger and then cannot be destroyed by antibiotics when they are especially needed. For this reason, doctors are careful to only prescribe antibiotics when they are very certain the infection is bacterial. Prescribing unnecessarily can lead to antibiotic resistance. It is very important to remember that our bodies not only contain bad bacteria that make us sick, but also good bacteria that is important to help us digest our food and keep us healthy. With the unnecessary use of antibiotics, the good bacteria are destroyed, which leaves plenty of room for the bad bacteria to grow and make us sick. Okay, thank you so much, doctor. Could you please suggest treatment for my cold? Miss Myers, after doing a head and neck exam and listening to your chest, I'm confident that you have the common cold, a viral infection. The best thing to do is get as much rest as possible and let your body's immune system do its amazing job to fight the viral infection. You should drink lots of water to stay hydrated as fever can increase your body's fluid loss. Drinking lots of water and warm fluids will also help to make mucus flow more freely and allow you to cough it up. You can take acetaminophen or ibuprofen, if you are not allergic to them, to help the body aches and fever. Don't take decongestants or expectorants because they don't work and can even be harmful to you. Thanks, doctor.